Hi, my name is Sheila Hill. I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual guide. I want to talk about something that many of you are either going through or have been going through for some time. If you feel like you have lost track of time, you don't know what day it is half the time, your relationships aren't working, your friendships don't have the same kind of vibe to them, your family is the same when you spend time with them, there's just an off that you can't put your finger on. If you eat certain foods that you used to love and they don't feel right or taste right, if you look in the mirror and while you know that it is still you, there's something about it that just, I don't look like myself. I don't feel like myself. My life doesn't feel like it's mine. All of those things. All I want to do is sleep. I don't feel motivated anymore. If any of that, any or all of it, and it's usually all, resonates with you, I want you to understand that's what's happening metaphorically is that you are being unplugged from the matrix. And for a little while, you're wandering around with your plug. Where do I plug in? I feel so incredibly lost. I don't even know what to do with my time. I don't feel like myself. I don't eat the same foods. I can't spend time with the people I used to spend time with. I don't look like myself, right? All the things. You're walking around with a plug. Where that plug will be plugged into is your higher self. That aspect of your own soul that did not incarnate that in your reality is the all-seeing, all-being one. Your higher self is the manager, CEO, God essence for all of your aspects, your parallel lives, your past lives, and so on. So you're going to unplug from the matrix and then plug in to your higher self so that you can ascend into becoming the higher self. And then the higher self then gives you access to your monad group, which is your soul family. So your tribe, if you will, is coming. Your ascended state is happening. But it's like hair growing. It takes time. Every minute of every day in every experience, your higher self is working with you to dissolve the programs within your body that keep you plugged in to the matrix. Snip, 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 one little wire filament at a time is how this is happening. So you are not crazy. You are not depressed. You have not lost your mind. All the stories that the ego is going to try and tell you is where your opportunity to do your inner work is. The ego will try and tell you that because your friends and your family and your food and your job and all of the things that you used to do who made you you are now falling away, the ego is going to panic. Of course it will. It doesn't understand ascension. Your ego is going to panic. It is going to tell you stories that you're going to be broke. You're going to be homeless. You're going to be lonely. You're going to be, this is it. This is your new life now. And that's not true. You are going through an evolutionary process of great magnitude. It is an incredible divine gift to be able to be here and be a part of this process. But I also understand that it is crunchy, it's uncomfortable, and it is unnerving. I get that. The other thing that your ego is going to try and do is try and plug the plug back in. Plug it back in, plug it back in. If I just try harder in this relationship that I know intuitively is dying, if I just try harder at work, maybe I can get my groove back. If I just work harder at the gym, get up earlier, try harder, I can get myself back into that square peg. I can plug back in. That's not the approach. You are being asked to surrender to let go, to allow the energies, your higher self and your guides to guide you, to hold you, and to maneuver you, your energy and your life experiences in whatever way is for your highest and best evolution. 
The ego will gaslight you, lie to you, and manipulate you. That's its job. Your inner work is to work with the aspects of your ego and love them. Love them down, right? Your job is to surrender instead of scrambling to plug yourself back in. Let it dissolve. Let it dissolve out there by it dissolving within you so that you can make more room for the more truth of who you really are and who you came here to be, to be birthed from within you. You are being unplugged. I hope this helps you and meets you exactly where you needed to be met. Much love.